the accomplice, Roy Clark. We helped him to give the perfect surprise birthday gift to Glenn Campbell. A practical joke. Now, this is Roy Clark's recording studio in Nashville, where Glenn is scheduled to lay down some music tracks. Now, our crew got there way before Glenn did, so we could set up the joke. Now, Glenn has a tour of Australia coming up, and he's been told that he's going to be interviewed live from Sydney by satellite by an Australian personality named Jack Reynolds. There is no Jack Reynolds, of course. He's being played by Roy Clark, who will disguise his own voice with the help of our voice distortion microphone. Roy will be hidden in the next room. Most of his questions will be about not Glenn Campbell, but Roy Clark. Now, remember, Glenn thinks this is live. John Reynolds should be... Uh, hello, Glenn. Yes, John. Uh, Jack Reynolds here, ATMTV in uh, Sydney. Jack Reynolds. Yes, sir. Hi, uh... Uh, I understand it's your birthday today. Yes, it is. Well, happy birthday. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, and I hear you're coming to Australia in October. Yes, I sure am. I'm going to be looking forward to it. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you're also going to be co-hosting the Academy of Country Music Awards on May the 6th. That's correct. With that must the, be exciting. Well, you know, to get to work with Loretta Lynn and Janie Fricky as co-host, I mean, it don't get much better than that, Jack. <laughs> so far, so yeah. good. Now, tell us a little bit about the, uh, the movie that you're doing. Well, we're in here today. It'll, it'll be a birthday that I'll remember because I'm, we're in the studio now, and I'm doing a trio with Mel Tillis and Roy Clark. And uh, it's the theme song for the movie, and the title of it is Uphill All the Way. And it should be re released over here probably for a fall release. Oh, uh, Roy Clark is with you. Yes, he is. Roy? Uh, he's, he's very popular here, you know. I know it. He's popular everywhere. He... Uh, are you two good friends? Yes, we are. We're very good friends. Here it comes. Uh, Glenn, why do you always refer to Mel Tillis as the greatest entertainer in the world? Uh, what about Roy? <laughs> well, it's a different kind of entertainment. Roy does it with his, uh, with his guitar, and Mel does it with his m -m mouth. <laughs> Roy's not going to let up. Uh, they, are, they are both great, as you know. Well, the HBO show that uh, celebrating your 25 years in show business, uh, you had guest stars like Chris Christopherson, Right. Mel Tillis. Right. Uh, Johnny Cash and right. Ann Murray. Right. Uh, where was Roy Clark? Wasn't he? Wasn't he there? I understand that you named two of your sons after Jimmy Webb and uh, Jack Nicklaus. That is very true. Cal, who was uh, two years old on Friday, I named him Nicholas Caledonia Campbell. And uh, the one that was born the 15th of January, he was three months old the 15th, I named him Shannon Webb Campbell. Well, if uh, Roy Clark is such a good friend of yours, uh, why didn't you name a son after him? <laughs> I'll, maybe, I'll name the next one after him. Call him Roy Clark Campbell. Uh, seriously, uh, Glenn, what do you really think of Roy Clark? <laughs> well, uh, he's probably as, as good a man that's ever drawn a breath. Roy he thinks Glenn has had enough. And, uh, <laughs> there's a line that, that friends come on, and, and Mel Tillis and Roy Clark are on that line, you know. Seriously, Mr. Campbell, what do you think of Roy Clark as an entertainer? You... <laughs> I didn't get that until I heard that voice come on. I said, damn, he's asking a lot about Roy Clark. I'm going to say, I don't like him. I never want to work with him again. Roy, tell him why we did all this. <laughs> this is for TVs, bloopers, and practical jokes, and you are one. <laughs>